welcome your sustainable vibration really for the deliverance and the rising sign. I want to say thank you and welcome to each and every person. Uh, it is this your first time at my site. Um, this is uh, um, the energy vibration beginning for the last week of June 2017 and the week begins from the 26th of June until the 2nd of July. So this is the last week in June 2017. June was a long month, it was five weeks. Normally we don't have such a long so five weeks in June, but I'm, I'm saying to each and every person, the energy vibration is just so changing. And this year, 2017, is amazing. What is so weird about this is that an evening is coming in on Thursday. Thursday is going to be the evening day in this week. There's going to be a huge healing that is happening in this week, the healing day. So whatsoever is happening, um, there is going to be a huge healing. Um, there is going to be a balanced week for you because you are, you, this week is the week of uh, the hermit. The hermit is a water energy. The hermit is cleansing the still its wisdom and its uh, healing. Okay, so this week he's using the healing energies because it's a blue energy. He's using healing energies. Uh, most of you people will feel as if uh, you're in the hangman position because it's going to be your focus in this week. So most of you people are going to feel as if you're in the hangman position. So um, again, what's, what's the weather here is happening. It is a time when you're going to see uh, for changes coming in your life, but yet still these changes, there is a situation that is happening with you men, and it is the um, energy of uh, the universal angels are connecting with you on Wednesday. So um, there is going to be a sharpness of you feel as if uh, information is coming to you and a connection um, of whatever is happening, a connection is coming in. So this is going to be extremely good and extremely positive. Um, Thursday, as I've said, it's going to be a wonderful, positive day because it's going to be a day of healing, Thursday and Sunday. Um, the weekend is going to be a very evening because uh, um, the week energy is water and the zodiac energy of this week is also water. Um, Monday is cleansing, cleansing in the weekend. There is a situation here. Love is not one of the most important things. There's going to be heartbreaks on Friday for people who have to connect with the princess of pentacles. So if you are a Libra and you're connected with someone younger than you who is of a pentacle sign, which is as a, um, a Taurus, a Virgo or a Capricorn, and she's younger than you, um, she is going to be moving along soon. There's a lot of this happening. Um, yeah. So she is going to definitely be moving on soon. And the reason why she will be moving on for some people it's it's um, a she um, is at a point that she she wants to go to someone who is at her age group. She hasn't found anyone yet, but she's seeing that this uh, relationship is not going anywhere. So it's the, the, the love energy is only for the people who are having relationships with earth sign people that these earth sign people they're going to feel an heartbreak because they will be moving away from you. They will be no longer um, they're, they're going for someone who they feel more connected to. Um, um, they're either focusing on uh, something else in their life. Uh, I'm not seeing anyone. It could be um, a, a, a prince of pentacles, but it, it's not a yeah, or it's not a yeah, this is the person 
it's more as if they're focusing on their, themselves. It's not that um, uh, if there is someone else. It's more about the spiritual aspect. It's as if they choose to connect with the spiritual access and themselves. Okay, so and this person is not leaving, and you're feeling a heartbreak that this person isn't connecting with you, isn't being there for you, or um, isn't communicating with you. But this person is working on their own spiritual elevation. Okay, that's the only thing that. Um, I'm seeing here for the lovers in this week and it is just for the people who are connected with this the um this the Taurus, the Virgo and the Capricorn people that um, you feel as if they're moving away from you and you're feeling a heartbreak from this person. Maybe they haven't called, maybe they haven't been in touch with you, that sort of a thing, and um, you're feeling a heartbreak for this person so um, don't feel an heartbreak because they are just finding them their um, spiritual connection it's all about um, their spirituality it's not that they're having an affair or a relationship or that sort of thing so you don't have to have that the weekend is going to be um, really cleansing and looking at yourself for the people who are connected, it's all about the women, the people who connect with these, because it's, it's a week of a, a masculine, uh, the balancing of the masculine and the feminine energies, but um, it's a week of uh, you looking at yourself for the people, because it's all about uh, people who are connected with different signs, the water sign. It's because uh, uh, the, the women who the men or women who are connected with the, um, the, um, the energy of the uh, pentacle sign, you're going to feel heartbreak. For the ones who connect with the Prince of uh, Cups, because they're princesses in these readings this week, and this is good because whoever is connected, you men who are connected to the Princess of Cups, you are going to have it um, um, connect with the, the spirituality of Neptune, the unseen world. And, and, and she is going to bring you inner light, inner wisdom, guidance. She's going to show you the way. So, what I'm getting to is that some people will be leaving um, the Princess of Pentacles for this Princess of Cups. And it, it will be okay because this woman is all for the spirituality. That's okay. Um, whatever is happening, um, on Monday, you have the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles on Monday. The Ten of Pentacles is a huge change in your financial situation. A huge change. A huge change is coming to your financial situation. So, whatever is happening, this uh, change that is coming to your financial situation has to do with um, your, your work and the people who are in business. It has to do with your work and the people who are in business. Huge change is coming to your financial situation. And it has to do with people who are working and the people who are. And this has to be with work, promotion. Some people are going to have a pair of promotions that are coming up and that sort of a thing. And this is going to be positive, okay? As we go forward, we have the energy of the Two of Pentacles and the energy of the Two of Pentacles, um, as I said. Your financial situation is going to change, and this two of pentacles energy is here, and you're going to start balancing out all of your financial situation. And there's going to be a huge um, union coming to your financial situation, so this is going to be wonderful. So you have no 
nothing to worry about because your financial situation will be in balance, okay? Your wishes and dreams are coming true with your financial situation. On Wednesday, your own, um, the Prince of uh, Sword, which is uh, people who are from the ages of 21, um, 21 to uh, 35, but you are in the reverse form. And now I know why you're in the reverse form, okay? You people have connected with the um, Princess of Pentacles and you um, are having a heartbreak or you're going to break her heart. And you're moving on to the Princess of Cups. You breaking the A, the art of the Queen of Pentacles is going to have an effect on you. Um, um, you know, and, and, and this, oh, and, and it, it, it's as if it's not really you breaking, it's like she is moving away from you and you are, um, you, you don't want to let her go but you don't want to tell her that your intuition is not at the eyes for it because you are want to or you are trying to connect with someone else. You are in the reverse form because you're not listening to your inner guidance. Okay, whatever is happening on Wednesday, you're not uh, listening to your inner guide. So on Thursday, here on Thursday, you have the Six of Wands. Good news are coming in. Wonderful good news are coming in on Thursday. Yes, and this good news is uh, all about money. Money. Um, it's it's money going to come into you slowly and but surely. Money it's going to come to you. And surely, but surely, on Friday you have the energy vibration of, uh, um, of the Princess of Pentacles. So whoever is, is connecting out there with the Queen of the Princess, uh, the Princess of Pentacles, there's going to be heartbreak, and you are going to have this heartbreak over her, and it can her having an heartbreak over you. So. It can work either ways, um, and you should understand that maybe the journey has come to an end and you will need to move on. Um, so this could be it, but on Friday, maybe you haven't heard from her and you're feeling heartbroken and um, you're thinking that there is someone else and um, maybe there is no, no one else except that she has to um, be um, doing and, and she's busy um, doing stuff on Saturday you have a fire sign which is the tower breaking down no one else has seen and with the tower breaking down the new energy newness new energy the tower is breaking off something that is going to bring you new energy and this has to do with your financial situation so what's the ever that was blocking your financial situation or whatsoever dreams you are trying to manifest or whatsoever you wanted to manifest in your life and it wasn't happening and it's going to now um, be released uh, the healing for you guys is on Saturday the healing for you guys is on Saturday okay your healing is going to come in because there's a healing that is happening for every zodiac sign in this week and your healing day is going to be on Saturday and Sunday, you're going to connect, or yeah, connect with um, the um, Princess of Cups. The energy of the Princess of Cups is um, the Pisces, the Cancer, the Scorpion. And you're going to be looking for um, uh, inner wisdom, inner wisdom, connecting with via the spirit world, that sort of a thing. Some people could be connected with their intergalactic and families. That sort of thing. So be aware of this is happening. Okay, there is a situation um, with um, you and these two women. For some people, you're connecting with these two women. You're going to break the heart of the um, king, the queen, the princess of Pentacles, and you're going to move forward with the, the um, princess of Cups. Be aware of what you do, make sure that you're not creating karmas. 
wonderful. Um, for some people, here is it another time, but the good news is going to come in, and it's going to be good news that is money coming to you slowly but surely, and the energy vibration of um, the king, the, 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 the princess of pentacles is one of heartbreaks, uh, and uh, the other for the um, queen of cups is one of enemies. So, um, it's, it's going to happen, it has to do with people in, within the ages of 21 and 35. This is what is all happening for you guys at this moment. And you're going to see this uh, changes and this uh, program of welcoming a new uh, situation. Um, it is uh, your, your day for the healing, the cleansing um, is going to be on Saturday. Love is not one of the most focused thing for you guys in this week. It's all about uh, um, seeing how you can balance certain aspects. So love is not one of the most important things for you guys in this week. It's, it's about seeing how you can heal yourself as yet you still heal situations. So it's it's going to be okay, whatsoever it is and whoever. It's out there, but this is going to affect um, the men that is 25 to 35. That uh, um, and, and, and it's not, you know, this queen of pentacles, she might feel heartbreak, but I guess, you know, she thinks, okay, um, everybody has to move on, so that's going to be okay. And, you know, be aware because uh, maybe um, this queen, and you're connecting with her because. She is um, connecting with the unseen world, and that's what you wanted. But sometimes you want things, and sometimes you get them, and it's not really what you're looking for. So again, be aware of you, be aware of people, because uh, but it's okay, you know. Um, ask for healing, whatever it is. Let's see what the consciousness has in mind for you guys. There's a consciousness in this week. Consciousness. Sorry guys, have to put my glasses on. I know I am part of Source and my life is guiding my divine wisdom. I know I am part of Source and my life is guiding my divine wisdom. I know that I'm part of Source and my life is guided kind of by divine wisdom. And this is so wonderful. This is so powerful. And the number of the card is going to be uh, 26 to 168. So we're going to work with the crown chakra. So we call it an Archangel Meditron to touch, open, and activate our crown chakra. And it's going to help us to align ourselves with the universal angels. So this is going to be a wonderful wonderful energies um, for you Librans. It's going to be extreme wonderful energies as we move forward and we ask the energy of the E. We in love. Oh my gosh, okay, see you. It's, it's you know, leaping in love. Leaping in love is, is, is true because here, you know, some people or, or leaving certain uh, people behind, and that's okay. And it says, Leaping in Love, Romeo and Juliet, um, Bubble and Marco, they have got nothing on you. It's romance time. Whether it's a new partner or falling more deeply in love with your own rock star life, <laughs> become. Um, but stone with your dreams. Act as if it has already happened. Everything, as they say, is coming up roses. Only this time without the, the, the toys. Only this time without the toys. And this is it. Still trying to connect with these cards. So, it's Romeo and Juliet. It's not like this. You know, they have got nothing on you. It's romance time, whether it's a new partner 
or falling in love, deeply in love with your own rock star life. Become obsessed with your dreams, act as if it has already happened. Everything, as they say, is coming up roses. Only this time without the torn. And this is so wonderful and this is so good. This is profoundly wonderful. This is a positive, positive with the energies of the high man, um, which is um, exactly what this reading is saying, energy of the high man for you guys in this week. So um, whatsoever is happening, open up your awareness and yourself in this week. Remember that only love is real. And I want to say namaste. Please remember to um, listen to your sun, moon, rising and July readings that are coming out. And share these videos, like and share these videos.